as popular as Rabbit is, AutoCAD is still very prevalent in the building industry. As a result, there may come a time in your projects where you are faced with exporting a portion or all of your project to a format that AutoCAD can understand. Depending on the needs of the recipient, Rabbit is also capable of exporting directly to AutoCAD's native DWG format. In this video, we will look at the steps for preparing an AutoCAD export. I'm going to show you how to export all the drawings inside the sheets portion into AutoCAD format. This will allow us a whole lot of uh, interactivity in terms of working with AutoCAD already this way. Yeah? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the view again by pressing in TW and this will allow us a full in a sense an expanded view of all the drawings all right and with this we're going to go to file we're going to go to export cat formats and in here you will notice that there are four main formats that can be exported to so namely the AutoCAD DWG file, the uh, drawing exchange format DXF, and this is the MicroStations uh, native DGN format, and the, also the 3D ASCII set file. So we're going to use this one, DWG format. And inside here itself, what we're going to do is we are going to choose from current view or sheets only, this will only allow us to export only one. But we, if we want to export the entire document out, we would use the second option here. In session view slash sheet set. This one. And more option will appear right underneath it. And we are going to use sheets in the model. This one here. And inside here, you will see an array of drawing sheets that we have prepared here and we will click on check all and we will click on next so under here then we will give it a name we'll just call it project documentation set for example this way and we will designate where to save it and when done we will click OK so we should also bear in mind that we need to pay some attention to the format that we are going to use or the generation of AutoCAD images we are going to use so to be safe we can either use the, 20, the earlier 2013 version or 2018 version this way it could be quite new So I'm just going to run it through with using the 2018 version for now and click OK. So when this is done, I'm just going to go to the, the folder to take a look and you will see that all the whole set of drawing will be exported out here. Let's take a look at what is inside. For example, looking at A1 floor plans drawing file. So you will notice once the drawing has been exported to AutoCAD DWG format, the sheets are all set up in a paper space viewport configuration. So let's go to model space now and take a look. And you'll find that all these drawings here are now in external references this way. So we can take a look and see where these drawings are. And they can be located here. 
I'm just going to open it up and show you. So these are all cross-referenced into the main drawing down here, this way. Okay, so that completes the export. And now all that remains is for you to zip up the drawing files that were created and send them off to your AutoCAD recipients for them to review.